I got a text from one of my dads of my players um, one day, and he was a little guy. And he, he goes, yeah, he goes, I went in to get Jake ready for school this morning. He's standing in front of his mirror like this. And I was like, I was like, what are you doing, buddy? He's like, dad, I'm doing my Superman pose before I go to school. Like, how awesome, though, if we had all our little dudes and little girls, right, getting in their power pose before we send them off to school every day. How much better do you think we would all be if we get a little power pose in the morning, right, before we show up to be our superheroic selves? The most important conversation that you have every day is the conversation that you have with yourself. And a lot of us are running around with really negative, really undermining, really anxious self-talk that is not helping us be our best. And now that you've learned that your thoughts actually change the form and function of your brain, my hope is that you'll be a little bit more mindful of the words that you're saying to yourself because they matter. And here's what's even crazier. Do you think we only have positive mindsets build up into our brain? No, right? A lot of us probably have some negative or pessimistic or fearful or anxious or depressed mindsets wired into our brain. The beautiful part about the human brain is what we wire in, we can wire out. Because what did we learn? The brain is like a muscle. When you use it, it gets bigger and stronger. When you don't use it, what gets happened? What happens? It gets smaller. 75 to 98 percent of all mental and physical health issues are caused due to our thought life. 75 to 98 percent of all mental and physical health issues are caused due to our thought life. Which means then that only two to 25% of the mental and physical health issues out there are caused due to our genes or the environment. I want everybody to stand up and give me your best superhero pose. Stand up, best superhero pose, dun da da. What do you notice if you look around, we got a lot of heads up, shoulders back, getting big, right? You just hold this pose, get in a pose that you can hold for a little bit while I just talk to you. Because here's what we know. Science shows that if we are in what we call a power pose, which is what you all are in right now, open, confident, right? Head up, shoulders back. You can even be in a power pose sitting, but I wanted to get you to move, right? Get a little blood flowing. If we are in a power posture for at least two minutes, your testosterone starts to go up. Ladies, we have testosterone, just lower levels than men, and that's our power hormone. When we're in this pose for two minutes, our cortisol, which is our stress hormone, goes down. So, what tends to happen when things go wrong? What do we usually do? <sighs> we collapse, we get small, we get frustrated, right? And when, as soon as we do that, testosterone plummets and cortisol spikes. We can control our body language, and so managing our, our body's posture and then what we're saying to ourselves in the midst of that moment will help get us back on track faster, particularly when things go wrong.